Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Carex and this will be a quick tutorial on Traffic Manager Mod Lane Connector Tool. So we've already looked at Traffic Manager Mod and how you set it up and some of the different customization elements, the overarching customization elements in the settings for the mod settings, right? That, that kind of dictate the AI and how we can affect the AI as a whole and in general and how it's going to interact with the different tools and the different uh, road um, rules that we we actually customize as we play the game. And now we're looking at the actual toolbar here and seeing the different features and stuff that we have to now affect the game itself. And going along from from sort of the top left and, and looking or you know starting at the top left and going down, the first one that I would find as a major feature is the lane connector uh, tool. So with the lane connector tool, effectively how we're going to use any of these tools is we just select it. So now we've highlighted it blue. You know we first we of course open up the traffic manager mod menu and we can close it and open it and stuff like that. I usually do open and close this. I usually don't just have it on the screen, but I guess you could just have it on the screen. You are actually you are going to have to close this every once in a while for different for for reasons and things cuz cuz it can kind of junk up your other interactions. So every once in a while you have to close that. But for the most part, you know, we got our menu up here. I now have the lane connector selected and effectively as we zoom in, we can now see that all these little segment, all these little nodes it's not even junctions, right? This would be like a junction where we have two different roads meeting each other. But even just in segments, we actually have these little circles. And we could just start clicking on these. And we're seeing these little buttons. Okay, and then we can start clicking on these different circles. And we can see that like, as we hover over there, it's expanding a little bit to show that we're selecting that. And we can actually dictate the lane changing rules of this road. We could make it so all of these people have to go this way and all of these people have to go this way. Now that wouldn't be very efficient because a lot of these people are probably trying to get off. But look, now we got these people crisscrossing. We literally have these people crisscrossing for no particular reason, except for that now, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry about that guys. Grand city apparently. Except for that now we've set it to be a rule. More importantly, sometimes you actually want to just force them to stay. Sometimes you notice that they're all dogpiling over and you just want them to stay straight. One of the things I like to do and if you hit control S, you can actually, it's a hotkey for just um, forcing everything straight. Is I like to actually lock them in. I like to actually lock them in as they're approaching an off. And this means that they're gonna get into the lane that they need to be into back up and that they're not going to be just like all dogpiling over. Cause a lot of times you'll see them in a conga line and they'll just be switching over at the last second, right? Cool thing is here, does this really need to be a straight or should this be an off only? There you go. Now that's an off only. We could we could do this and we could start to give these lanes a little bit more value, right? If we're not seeing a lot of people in this outer lane, we can give it more responsibility and stuff like that. Or, you know what, even more so, check this out. I can do this. We can, we can just keep this going. Uh, these two lanes go straight. And now when these people come on, check this out. When these people enter, now they're not merging with anybody. They're not merging with anybody. They have a free bit to go. We can shift this. We can stitch. I call it stitching. We can stitch these up. And now these cars are coming into here and they're not going to be crisscrossing with each other. They're going to be isolated into their own lanes and that's going to help keep the flow going. You're not going to get these jam ups here because these people are trying to go wide and these people are trying to cut in or these people are coming and these people are trying to come into the same lane or, or you know like I said worse they're going wide. Now we've restricted them. If they need to get wide they can do that once they maintain it once they get up to speed right. Once they get up to speed they can shift over. That's a lot more effective having the cars making those lane changes at speed than you know than when they're going really really slow. You know, if we notice that everybody's trying to turn left here, we can go into here and actually this is not a particularly good example because, oh, here's a good example. If we notice that everyone here is um, is maybe trying to turn right or something like that and some of these people are dogpiling, everybody's dogpiling in this lane, but they're going right and left, we can make it so no, you know what, you guys are a right turn only, you guys are a left turn only. In fact, we can, again, we can set this up in such a way that now these people aren't crisscrossing here. So these people can turn left and these people can go straight and there's no conflict. The cars can move at the same time. We can even make it so these people can go there and then these people can go there. And again, we're avoiding conflict here. So these people are making a left turn. These people are making a right turn. They're going into separate lanes. If they need to readjust, they can readjust here. So we won't restrict them from adjusting here, but that's going to be better lane distribution potentially, right? You're giving these, these lanes more specific personality and re responsibility. And that's going to affect 
um, ultimately the distribution of the cars in these areas. So we can go through it. It's really just something, you know, it, it's, it's something that you just ultimately have to see uh, specific traffic issues um, and, and, you know, and, and make the decision on where these cars ultimately, where you want these cars ultimately to go. And that's basically what this is, right? That's, that's what the lane connector tool is. There's a lot of situations where there might be, oh, right here's a great one. Right here's a great one. In the base game, people can go left here, but, but look at the angling here. Do you really want people making this hard left? No, maybe you don't. Maybe you just want them going right or going straight. And if they need to go down this road, they'll actually just take a completely different road and come up this way instead, and that would be a lot more effective, right? So that's one way to kind of do that. Maybe again, maybe we don't even want these people turning left. So we could just do these little optimizations like that, where if you come up this road, it's because you're trying to go this way. And if you wanted to go this way, you would have actually came this way instead and then turned into this roundabout and then use this roundabout to get up this road or to get up this road and so on and so forth, right? So basically, that's essentially the lane connector tool. It's very simple to use. You, you highlight it and you, all of these different nodes are various things that you can uh, that you can do. I think if you do page up and page down, we can go into the underground mode and then we can start affecting actual tunnels. So we can start setting the rules on tunnel modes by doing page up, page down. Once you have this open, page up puts us back at above ground, which is really, really nice. So we can use this on any road, doesn't matter if it's in a tunnel or not. And there's a lot of different things. I mean, heck, here's a fantastic example. We might want these people just to be going off. The problem is that this is a small city and there's not really any traffic issues with it. But if we had traffic issues, we could try to tune it. If we're noticing people dogpiling in a lane, we can try to take those people and split them across multiple lanes by rewriting the rules of the road. And you can see that it's actually updating these arrows instantaneously. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. So that's basically the uh, the lane connector tool. It's it's trial and error. It's experimentation. It's adapting to the different traffic problems that you're experiencing in your cities, the different intersections that you have in your cities. Of course, you can set more complicated things. I mean, heck, you could make this a a no right a no left turn intersection. We could just go like this, and and maybe this is a no left turn, and that's definitely going to radically improve traffic flow. It could cause hiccups for the AI trying to get to where they're trying to go. Right, you have to kind of evaluate the situation and see, okay, well, if this person actually needs to turn left, what is their alternative course of action? How do they still get to this shop if they're coming from this way? Well, in this case, they would have never really actually come down this way in the first place, right? They would have been coming up this way, they would have turned into the roundabout and gone that way. The other cool thing is here's a situation. We don't need these people making this crazy maneuver back there. We're just gonna have them going off that way. So you can really optimize and smooth up a lot of the transitions and merging of the different cars with this mod, but it's not gonna be uh, highlighted very well until you actually get some traffic problems. But that's how you use the mod. And it's really just a trial and issue, a trial and error uh, situation. Uh, if you guys have questions, ask them down below. On the Twitch channel, I'm using this constantly to fix like gnarly traffic issues. So feel free to uh, stop by and, and ask some questions about that or kind of observe how we're using this mod because we're using it constantly, uh, using this specific feature of the mod constantly. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode of this Traffic Manager uh, Present Edition tutorial series. Thank you, everybody.